Over the last couple years, I've been checking out fast food restaurants in Ontario, Canada that have been trying out these new plant-based burgers. I've tried the A&W's Beyond Meat Burger in Markham, Ontario, Tim Horton's Beyond Meat Breakfast Sandwiches in Stroud, and the Tim Horton's Beyond Meat Burger in Bradford, and Harvey's Light Life Burger in Aurelia. And now it looks like McDonald's Canada has thrown their hat into the ring with their very own Beyond Meat Burger called the PLT, Plant Lettuce Tomato Burger. Let's bite this thing and see if it's any good. It is a cold and snowy day here in Canada and we are on our way to a city called Woodstock, Ontario, Canada to a McDonald's because I just found out that McDonald's has the plant-based burgers as well and they call theirs the PLT, the plant lettuce and tomato burger. So we're gonna go there, buy one, maybe buy another burger, compare them together and we'll see if it's any good. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Guys, we have made it to Woodstock, and uh, now we're going to grab that plant lettuce and tomato sandwich. All right. Hi, Hi I'd like to try that the PLT meal, please. And what is your drink? Coke, no ice. Okay. And could I also get uh, like a regular hamburger and a quarter pounder? And that's it. Thank you. You're welcome. We total twenty dollars and seventy-six cents for your first window drive through, please. Thank you. That's expensive. Three burgers, fries, and a drink. Twenty seventy-five. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. If I can see the corner, we're waiting on your PLT sandwich. Okay. So Thank you. Okay, Thank you very much. Have a great day. You too. All right, people. Let's park it. All right, guys. We are parked. Let's get out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating. All right guys, let's do the quick rundown of this bill. So the PLT meal with the Coke and the, and the fries is $9.89 Canadian, and then the hamburger is $2.29, and the quarter pounder with cheese is a $6.19 for a total of $20.75 Canadian, Canada, Canadian after taxes. Let's see what we've got in the bag. Make sure we got everything. We got our hamburger, is the PLT. We got our fries, I haven't had McDonald's fries in a while. We've got that, and we've got one bonus fry. Check that out, one bonus fry, all the way at the bottom there. Mmm, got a lot of bonus fries. First of all, I always like to eat my fries fresh. One of the best tasting fries in the world right there. Mmm. Let's move on. Using a napkin as a tablecloth, let's get out this PLT, see what it looks like right away. Here we go, we've got our patty, our nicely toasted bun, I would imagine, yeah, it's toasted, of course, McDonald's, way to go. Then we got lettuce, looks like ketchup, mayo, pickles, tomato, cheese, probably nothing on the bottom, nicely toasted on the bottom, and there is our Beyond Meat patty. Let's compare this one to the one I found on the internet. Ding! Is it close? I think it's a little bit close there, isn't it? Not bad. Way to go. That bun is like shiny. So there's definitely a huge difference in size between the regular burger and I love these burgers. And then we also have the quarter pounder. Comparison side by side. Almost this, this bun top looks a little bit darker, but it's probably from the same bun pack. It's just that this one got cooked a little bit longer uh, at the factory. Uh, but exactly the same size bun. The patty is almost the same size. This one's definitely, the circumference is a little bit larger. Let's bite this thing and see if it's any good. First initial thought, is I don't think 
if somebody had given me that and didn't tell me that it was a burger, uh, like a meat patty, I don't think I would have noticed on the first bite. There's so many condiments and so much going on. The sauces, the pickles, the tomatoes, uh, the cheese, and just the whole thing itself is kind of disguising the flavor of the the uh, plant-based patty. Uh, the texture of it is, is almost meat-like. Uh, here's a little uh, disclaimer. Uh, McDonald's does cook these patties on the same grill uh, as uh, eggs and meat patties. But if you're a vegetarian and you just don't want to have anything to do with animal products, uh, there would be probably animal products on this burger because they cook it on the same grill. Mm. I don't see anything wrong with it. I guess we should compare maybe this nutritional value to this nutritional value. Let's take a bite of this. I mean, taste right away the beef in that. Unfortunately, it would have been nice to dress this up as this. So I'm getting all those other flavors with the same condiments and toppings because you would definitely be able to tell which one was the beef one if you did a blind taste test. I guess the only people that would want to order this would be the people who uh, either just don't want meat in, the, in their diet. Uh, they're trying to cut back on cholesterol. I don't know who would, who would buy this the, knowing the fact that it's not really vegetarian or vegan. It's good. The other thing that might come into play too is the price. So I bet this is more. So if you're looking to save money, you probably wouldn't order this unless again, it's a health thing. Hmm. McDonald's Canada. I could see this being permanently on your, on your menu. It tastes good. There's nothing wrong with it. The fact that you guys have the Beyond Meat patty in there, way to go. So if any of you guys work at the McDonald's that are selling these, uh, maybe you can give some other insight into it. Do they definitely cook it on the same spot as they've cooked burgers? Uh, do they, or are they being as cautious as possible and trying really hard just to cook the PLTs off to the side? I just don't know why they can't cook these separately on a different grill and then just kind of them have them like in a tray uh, kind of on the ready. Uh, again, I don't work at McDonald's, so I don't know these things. But if you do, let us know in the comments below. All right, guys, I am liking this enough to give you guys a one o'clock in the morning shout out bite to especially McDonald's for coming up with this jumping on the whole plant-based burger bandwagon. Way to go. It's a great burger. I'd buy it again. But let's just give this a one o'clock in the morning shout out bite for all you guys also who love to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do, but you do. This bite is for you. Mmm. Not bad. All right, guys, it is time to polish this off. I'll be right back. Hang on. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two points for Ken. Did it go in? Almost. Rim shot. All right, guys, on my rating scale, I'm gonna have to give McDonald's plant-based burger, the PLT, plant lettuce tomato, a would recommend. I really enjoyed it. Uh, they put all the right condiments on it. The meat patty itself or the plant-based patty itself was totally fine. I had no aftertaste with it. Uh, it tasted fantastic. All right, guys, if you love these videos and you don't want to miss the next one, please hit that subscribe button. It sits right around here. Click the notification bell. But if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic food review. Ken Domic out. Do that. Drive up around the corner. All right, guy. Oop. How did that happen? What did I sit on? I actually opened my trunk with my body. Why doesn't it close? Keys in my pocket. Going jang a lang a lang. Let's get out the trusty. Let's get out the picture. One more time. All right, guys, we are parked. Let's. Man.
Let's get out of <clears throat> using an <coughs> damn it. Got some thumbnails. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two points for can. It didn't go in again, did it? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.